Hi there, my name is Cam and welcome to another how-to video about Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Today we'll be looking at how to create an automated file import process inside Marketing Cloud. Automated file imports are a great way to get data from your business into Marketing Cloud each day without manually transferring files. The most common way that I see these kinds of imports being used is to upload fresh business data such as customers, products and purchases into Marketing Cloud each morning for use in daily segmentation activities or for journeys and marketing sets. For today, we're going to create a simple file import process that is automatically triggered as soon as a new file is dropped into an FTP folder. We'll be using file locations in this video, so if you haven't already created a file location, make sure you check out my video on how to create file locations. I've linked the video in the description below. So before we start building our automated file import, we need to create a data extension to import our data into. So let's quickly make a data extension with a couple of fields that we can use to import our data into. I've made a corresponding CSV file in Excel with some sample data in it as well. This will be the file that we use to import our data into our data extension. In this video, I'll be using the data warehouse file location that we created in my video on file locations. So with our CSV saved, we can drag and drop our CSV into our data warehouse folder on the Marketing Cloud FTP. We'll need to have our target file on the FTP before we create our import activity. Now we can go into Automation Studio and navigate to the Activities tab and press the Create Activity button. Here we'll choose the Import File Activity and click Next. We can give our activity a name and then press Next. On the Import File screen, we can choose the file source from the file locations. Here we'll choose the Data Warehouse file location and then enter in the file naming pattern for our target data file. In this case, it's data.csv. We should see a green tick appear, which means that Marketing Cloud has confirmed that the file exists in the specified FTP location. Once we've double checked all the other import settings, we can press Next. On the destination screen, we need to choose the data extension that we want the file to be imported into. Here we can navigate to the import test data extension that we created earlier, select it and then click next. The mapping screen gives us a few options about how we can import our file. You can read through the description text or hover over the information label to get more details about these actions. Since there is no existing data in my data extension and the two columns of data I want to import are in the correct order, I can import as an override activity, mapping by order. There's also a map manually option if you want to drag and drop the CSV column headers into their corresponding data extension fields. On the final screen, we can review our information before clicking finish. Now that we've created our file import activity, we can navigate to the overview screen in Automation Studio to create a new automation. Let's begin by using the file drop starting source to specify our data warehouse as the trigger folder for this automation to start. We can specify the file name path to begin with the word data, so that only when a file that begins with the word data is placed into this FTP folder will the automation be triggered to start. Next, we can drop in a file import activity and select the activity called data import that we created earlier. Finally, we can press save and give our automation a name. With our automation saved, we can press the active button on our file drop activity to activate the FTP listing that we configured. We can select activate now and then save our automation again. Now let's open back up our FTP client and drag the data.csv file into our data warehouse folder again, replacing the existing file. Once the replacement file has been uploaded, we can navigate back to Automation Studio. If we hit refresh on the activity tab of our automation, we can see that the file drop has triggered the automation to begin, and it's run the import file activity that we created, hopefully overwriting our sample CSV data into the target data extension. We can navigate out to our data extensions and open up our import test data extension to make sure that all 12 records have been imported, and it looks like they have. All right, and that'll do it for today. If this video has helped you to create an automated data import process in Marketing Cloud, 
then please throw it a like and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.